Hey everyone, in today's video I am sharing four fun kindergarten number sense activities. Very recently here on YouTube, I just shared a four part series on number sense routines. The videos look like this, one, two, three, and four. I suggest you go check those out if you're looking for some easy to implement ideas and routines that you can really use in your classroom at any time. But in today's video, I really wanna focus on our youngest learners, those kindergarten students, who really are focusing on number sense for the first couple months of the year, right? They are working on one-to-one -one correspondence. They're working on number identification. They are counting. So today's video, I'm going to share two hands-on activities and two print and play, like game activities that I think your students will love. So if you're excited to dive in, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. All right, activity number one is an all time favorite of mine. This is a hands on number sense activity that I first shared back in 2013, 2014, something like that. And it is just a hit with your students. It is called Roll and Build. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about this one because I actually have a video about this game right here, but I will just show you a simple picture because it's pretty self-explanatory. What you will need is a little game board like that down at the bottom. Now I have mine in my number sense unit, but you can clearly just make an image like that, draw some boxes with the numbers one through six. And then with your first grade students or even later on in kindergarten, you can do the numbers from two through 12. All students will do depending on the board, they will either have one die or two dice. They will roll it. They will have to count up the dots on their dice to find out what number is represented. Then, so we have counting, then they'll have to find that number on the board, number identification, and then they'll have to build it using cubes, one-to-one -one correspondence. Let's pretend they landed on a three. Once they have built that little stack of three blocks, they will place it on the three on their board. Students can play this alone or they could play this with a partner where they would take turns rolling dice back and forth and kind of work together to fill up their board. They could also do it as a more competitive game where each student would have their own color cubes. And then once all the spaces are filled up, they can see who covered the most spots and that would be the winner. That one is always a hit. Okay, activity number two is another hands-on one. This is also in my number sense unit, but again, something very simple that you could recreate. And this is called button jars. Here are some pictures of my own boys playing it when we were home last spring. What I love about this game is you can see that there are just a bunch of mason jars here on paper, and they each have a little number at the top. I like to use something like these little colorful buttons that I have, but you could easily do mini erasers, cubes, any small little manipulative that they could use. Cheerios would actually be a great one here too, because they do have to fit inside the jar. And I made a jar for numbers zero all the way up to 20. So at the beginning of the year in kindergarten, you would probably only use zero through five and then up it to 10. And students would shuffle up the cards, they would lay them out, and then they had just have to fill up the jar with their buttons. Once all of the jars have been filled up and they can visually see how many belongs inside each number's jar, that is when I have students move the jars in the correct order. So here they have number identification where they are seeing that number at the top and they have to know what that means. They are counting things out, so one-to-one -one correspondence to kind of match and make that number. And then they are actually ordering numbers from least to greatest. Another easy, fun activity. Okay, time for some print and play type of games. While I strongly believe that math should be largely hands-on, especially in grades kindergarten first and second, there is a time where you want them to move past, you know, that tactile learning and try to see if they can recognize and understand numbers just in their digital or, you know, printable formats where they're just looking at them. These print and play games are perfect for that type of practice where students have already done a lesson with you, maybe they've already done a hands-on type of activity, and then you want them to meet with a partner and just do a little game either in a math center or in a little group, however you want this to work. The first game I want to mention is called Roll and Fill, and the game board looks like this. There's actually two different versions of this game, one for numbers just 1 through 10, and this one has the numbers go up to 20. So let me show you how to play. 
This game is clearly a two-player game and each player has their own little column here and students will simply roll the two die and they can count up how many they rolled and find the matching row inside their column. So here I rolled a seven and you can see that seven starts with a 13 and then it has three blank spaces and then it says 17. So here I like it because students don't have to start at one. They will have to figure out what comes next after the number 13 and they will fill in the rest of that row. So 14, 15, and 16. Then that student will pass the dice to player number two. They will roll and fill up their row as well. They will simply go back and forth, rolling and filling until one person has filled up their entire column, and that is the winner. This is a great one for students to practice their number sense because they have to know what comes next as they are counting. And activity number four is another print and play one that students can do independently or with a partner, and this is called spin, count, and color. Just like it sounds, students will be working on actually one-to-one -one correspondence and counting up items to determine how many are there. There are a couple different versions of this game. Here is version A that has numbers one through five on it. The other versions go up to 10 and up to 15. So here students will simply use a pencil and a paper clip to spin and then whatever they land on, they need to look in the grid and find images that match. So they will need to count up and find a box that matches what they landed on. Students could definitely play this independently and just keep spinning and coloring until the time is up or until their grid is filled. But if playing with a partner, I suggest that they use two different color crayons. That way when the time is up or the grid is completely colored in, students can count up how many boxes they colored in and whoever colored in the most is the winner. I love that game because it is simple, but it's very easy for them to, again, play by themselves or with a partner, and they can practice number ID and counting up to find what matches. Also, if they are playing with a partner, I like it because at the end, when they are seeing who wins, they're comparing numbers as well. Those last two print and play games are actually in my kindergarten print and play bundle right here. This is a bundle where I have all of the kindergarten math standards and I created a bunch of quick and easy print and play no prep games to go along with them. These just came out last spring and they are a whole lot of fun. So I will link those down in the description, the number sense ones, in case you wanna check those out. So there you have four fun and engaging number sense activities to use with your kindergarten students at the beginning of next year. As always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I know. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new video. See you in the next one. Bye.